Hi, it's Logan from sleepopolis.com, and today I'm going to take a look at Ghostbed. Ghostbed is an online mattress retailer that was started in 2015 by Nature Sleep. We're going to put it through a few tests during the video portion of the review. So if you'd like a little bit further detail, including size and pricing information, you can check out our written review. You can just Google Sleepopolis and Ghostbed, and it'll be the one that pops right up. Now we're going to jump into the construction of the mattress, and we're going to start with the cover. The cover is 100% polyester. It's pretty soft and stretchy. As you can see, it snaps right back into place, so you won't have to worry about it bunching up when you're changing positions or rolling around on the mattress. I found it to be pretty breathable. And also, it's pretty thin, so it's going to allow airflow through the mattress, and it's not really going to interfere with the feeling of the top layer of foam on the mattress or anything like that. So now let's check out the layers of the mattress. The ghost bed is made of three foam layers totaling 11 inches in height. The top layer, or comfort layer, is made of an inch and a half of latex foam. The latex foam is known for being really good at cooling as it doesn't trap body heat. It also has a quick response to pressure, which you can see here. So you're not going to feel stuck in the mattress. It's going to allow you to move around and change position pretty easily. Another thing with this layer is that it's aerated on top, it has some holes in it, which basically allows airflow through the mattress, which again helps with temperature regulation and cooling. Below that soft layer of latex, we have two inches of gel infused memory foam. The memory foam has a really slow response to pressure, as you can see there. It's also really good for pressure relief. Uh, by placing it a little further into the mattress, it allows for deeper pressure relief, so if you're a side sleeper, higher weight concentration, you're going to dig further into the mattress, you're going to feel some body contouring and pressure relief there. Normal memory foam can at times trap a little bit too much body heat, causing you to sleep too hot. But the gel infusion does a good job of kind of pulling heat away from the body, temperature regulation and cooling. Uh, with this construction, by placing the gel infused memory foam below a latex layer, they've really taken into account people that might feel that they sleep a little bit too hot, and want a mattress that's going to help them cool a little bit while they're sleeping. And finally, below that, we have our base. It's seven and a half inches of high density poly foam. It's really firm and has a quick response to pressure. It's going to form the foundation of the ghost bed. It's really going to provide the support to the mattress and the sleeper on top. It's also going to give the mattress its shape and durability. You can see how all the layers interact with pressure there. Now that we've seen what makes up a ghost bed, it's time to get an idea for the feel and firmness of the mattress. Let's start by pressing into the cover. Now the initial feeling is of that soft latex foam on top. As you can see it has a quick response to pressure, responds quickly, it gets back to shape. If I push a little further below, start to feel some contouring from the memory foam below that, some deeper pressure relief. Now I'm going to lie down on the mattress. I'm going to start on my back. And the initial feeling I have is that latex kind of pushing up into my lower back, that lumbar region, which is good if you are a back sleeper. Uh, I do have my weight pretty evenly distributed in this position, so I'm not sinking too far into the mattress, but I do feel the, the, a little bit of compression. I can feel the memory foam kind of contour to my body a little bit, but I don't feel stuck in the mattress in any way. I'm going to roll onto my side. You know, once on my side, there is a higher weight concentration over a lower surface area, so I am digging into the mattress a little bit more, uh, which is causing me to interact a bit more with the memory foam layer. Uh, memory foam tends to be really good for side sleepers who tend to uh, have, you know, can have issues with pressure, especially forming at the hips and the shoulders. Uh, we're going to take a closer look at pressure a little later in the review, but I did want to bring up that I don't really feel pressure uh, points forming at the hips or the shoulders, uh, and, you know, if you're General side sleeper, uh, it's a pretty good feeling overall. I'm going to roll onto my stomach. Now once onto my stomach, um, I don't feel any pressure on my chest, which is good. It's going to allow me to breathe a bit, breathe a bit easier. Uh, I do feel my hips sinking into the mattress just a little bit. Uh, I this mattress was designed to have kind of a medium firmness. I think it kind of hedges maybe a little bit towards the softer side, personally. Uh, but everyone can feel firmness a little bit differently. 
uh, because of different sizes and weight concentrations. So for reference, I'm about 5'10", 190 pounds. If you'd like a wider variety of opinions on the firmness of the ghost bed or a more detailed description of the feeling of it, check out our written review at sleepopolis.com. The ability to relieve pressure is one of the most important aspects of any mattress that you buy. Instead of just describing the feel of the ghost bed, I wanted to give you a visual representation of where you might feel pressure points form while lying on the mattress. To do this, I've laid a pressure map on top, and I'll lie down on it in a few different positions, and you're going to see the results next to me ranging from blue for low pressure to red for high pressure. I'm going to start on my back. Roll onto my side. I'll try a few different positions on my side here. Finally, my stomach. If you plan on sharing your bed with a partner, the ability of a mattress to isolate motion can be incredibly important. To test this, I set up a seismometer on one side of the mattress where someone might be laying, and on the other side, I'm going to drop this 10 pound steel ball from heights of 4, 8, and 12 inches to simulate rolling around in the middle of the night or someone getting into and out of bed. We're going to check to see how much disturbance is transferred from one side of the mattress to the other. First, the drop from 4 inches. Now from 8 inches, finally from 12 inches. Many people buying a mattress will want to know if they're going to feel more on top of or like they're sinking into the mattress. To test this, we've set up four balls of varying sizes, weights, and densities to simulate different body parts. We're going to check to see how far into the ghost bed they sink. First up in the sinkage chest, we have our six pound medicine ball. It's filled with sand. It's the lightest ball we use during this test. We found that it sinks in about an inch and a half. Next up in the sinkage chest, we have our 10 pound steel ball. It's the densest ball we use during this test. We found that it has two and a half inches of sinkage. Next up, we have our 50 pound medicine ball. It's filled with sand. We found that it causes five inches of sinkage. Finally, we have our 100 pound medicine ball. It's the heaviest ball we use during the sinkage test, and we found that it goes into the ghost bed six and a half inches. If you're gonna be sharing your bed with a partner, you need to use the entire surface area of the mattress. Edge support can be incredibly important. You don't feel like you're gonna roll out of bed when you get near the side or anything like that. Now, when I'm near the side of the ghost bed, I do feel pretty well supported from the center mattress to the side. If we get pretty close, we do see a pretty good amount of compression here through those soft layers on top, that latex layer, the memory foam. Again, the latex allows me to change positions pretty easily near the side as well. If I hang off a little bit, start to see some compression through the side here, through, the, through those top layers of foam, which is a bit to be expected. And when I sit up on the side of the mattress, I uh, think maybe putting my shoes on in the morning or getting into bed at night. Uh, it does concentrate all of my weight over a smaller surface area. And I do see a pretty good amount of sinkage. It's not uncommon in a bed in a box like a foam mattress like this. Uh, and it might not be the most important position when you're deciding on your mattress, but it is something to think about. Now just some basic information regarding the ghost bed. There's a 101 night trial period, a 20 year warranty, and shipping is free to the continent of the United States, and it will arrive compressed in a box. Now, who would recommend this mattress to? So if you're looking to sleep a little cooler, the construction of this mattress includes a gel memory foam and places it below an aerated layer of latex foam, which are two good components to defend against sleeping too hot. I would also recommend this mattress if you sleep in multiple positions. The mattress has a medium firmness to it, which will appeal to a wider array of sleeping styles and preferences, and should allow you to sleep on your back, on your stomach, on your side, as long as your sleep needs aren't too specific. I would also recommend this mattress if you're looking for pressure relief with some bounce. 
There's a soft top layer with a memory foam layer below it to allow you to sink in a little bit. The latex foam on top provides some bounce so you can change positions and you won't feel stuck in the mattress like you do with some memory foams. That's it for the review. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions regarding the mattress or the review, please leave a note below. And don't forget to read our written review at sleepopolis.com. Have a nice day.